Hey McGinn, welcome back to our read alouds. It's Mr. Lone. Hope everyone was able to get like a little bit of extra sleep last night. I know uh, having about 30 or 40 minutes extra this morning definitely changed my you know, start to the day. Um, we are ready to kick off with another read aloud. It's by Kelly DiPuccio and it's called Dino Snores. And I hope you enjoy. On a supercontinent many million years ago, dinosaurs prepared for sleep on cozy lava flows. They bathed and brushed and fluffed their ferns around the dino site, then laid their horns and spikes to rest and kissed their eggs. Good night. Reptilian birds and dragonflies drifted through the skies, while prehistoric crickets sang Jurassic lullabies. Soon the peaceful world was rocked, shaken to its shores, from snouts of sleeping dinosaurs boomed mammoth dino snores. There were bronto booms, tricera cries, raptor rumbles, stego sighs, proto grunts, diplo hoots, aloe snorts, and tyranno toots. While dinos slept, wing lizards leapt, and mammals ran to hide. Palm trees quivered, hot springs shivered, bugs were petrified. Still, sleepy rumbling kept on coming from that dino chorus. Whistles, grunts, and snorts galore sprang from every saurus. Their nasal breeze stirred up the seas and windstorms full of sand. Swamps and rivers sloshed about, tossed creatures onto land. Boom, cry, rumble, sigh, grunt, hoot, snort, toot. That rumpish triggered tremors and a powerful earthquake, the shaking scared amphibians and drove them from the lake. Dino drools made swimming pools and gooey slick mud slides. Sharks and ancient giant squids surf slimy spit rip, rip tides. Deep grumbles made rocks tumble and loud cretaceous booms. Chains of sleeping mountain tops awoke in fiery plumes. After seven, several million nights like this of snoring from the pit, the shaken supercontinent began to crack and split. The dinos waved goodbye to friends and drifted off to sea. As for the rest, you may have guessed, it's ancient history. So boys and girls, I hope you enjoyed that story. Basically, Dinos, dinosaur snoring is what broke up the supercontinent into all of our little littler continents today. Wait a minute. Does that sound like that possibly could be true? Mm, but it makes for a good story. So I hope you enjoyed that one. I hope you were able to pick out certain nonfiction things uh, from the book that we read, but also had a nice little time maybe giggling along. McGinn will be back tomorrow for another read aloud. You have a good night.